So today we are going to look at uh, Git basics. So in this class, we we'll look at the following section. We we'll look at Git init, Git status, Git add, and Git commit. So I remember we did some commands when you're doing CLI. So it's just the same thing. Git also has its own commands. So Git init means uh, initializing of a repository. Initializing is like maybe you are just telling git i am now starting a new repository that is it it's not something big so first you create a folder uh don't do the mistake that i i learned someone did this one so that's why i made this error intentionally uh someone created a folder in the home page it is tricky you can't do that so you come and cd to a specific place for example if it's a desktop if it's the downloads or a file that you always put all your projects you can do that then go to desktop create now the folder make dir that folder then you cd to it you change the directory to that then you git in it so it will give you a message of i initialized an empty git repository well, if you will have gone to the code and wrote something then you come and switch and, and uh, do git in it it will say like the code has this and this and this so let's look at the next thing which is git status so git status this uh, shows us what is the file this is a way of getting to know the details of things that are happening inside a directory uh is there a new file created or not those kind of questions this answers that type of a question so uh you will have that for example here when i wrote git status at first i didn't get anything there's no commit yet nothing is nothing to commit then after i did touch touch is creating a new file you can take advantage to learn that right now so touch with me then i ls i checked if the, the the file i had created was there it was there and then i started git status then i saw it rendered a file so that is what will happen so you can just follow along with my code it's also the same thing in the notes and then you'll get a hint of that then git add this command helps us to add and make the file to be tracked by git status. So that one helps us to like ensure our file can be tracked. Then git commit, this is a message that you will write so that people can like literally understand or like uh, people can see what you have been doing they can learn from your code and if you're working in a team they will understand which feature have you added what have you improved so for example here my message was update something there update read me so let's do a practical because this was more best of a practical class so i said don't do the first mistake so you have to cd to somewhere else and you remember i said that these things are very cap sensitive so be very careful cd to desktop so after cding to desktop let me make dir uh let me write computer essentials project Computer Essentials, no, it's supposed to be small. Computer Essentials, then PLP. I don't like big words, so I just do acronyms. So from there, we'll do the next thing, which one is CDing to this file. So you CD to that one. Uh, C, okay. Uh, so after you CD to that file, uh, that one is let's look at uh git init let's initialize this file so git init mm, init so after git init you see it will give you that message that i had said before it will tell you like uh initialized empty git repository so that is what will happen so from there you can look at git status so there's something you want to know in git status you see that it is telling us our branch master this is the branch master we are using no commit yet nothing has been committed so you will understand that nothing has been committed to this file yet there's still nothing we have done so after you get that let us add a file then let's see 
let's create a folder so you create a folder you use the command touch so let's say touch read me this is a read me file like read read me dot md md there you go then write enter and then let's do ls to check if it's there yes readme has been created and then let's look at git status again let's see what it will tell us so git status so any git status we see that this readme file is here so let's read again uh one branch master yeah our branch is master and then no commit yet there's no commit untracked file so keep note of this information here it's untracked so it means this file has not yet been tracked by git so it's uh, and then here use git add file to include uh in what you want to to be committed so this git add will help you to track this file so let's do that let's just follow along with what it says so let's do git add read me there you go and then let's do again git status you see the review it will give you git status you see now the file is tracked this uh now it will ask i uh, ask you again to get a remem to this one and stage i uh, don't do that that is not very necessary so you see uh on branch master no commit yet but there is this one that has happened so so that it stops telling us no commit yet let's do code dots we go to the to that file okay so it came to a different setup of screen so that is a i just did code dot don't think it's something big so at the readme here uh, i'll teach you how to write a readme though uh, so that hash hash it's for the heading and then let me say uh, PLP project project week so keep note of this because this is what you will be doing in your project week so you see I have written that so let me see if it will tell us anything of a sort like now no commit yet gets no this you know why my keyboard is misbehaving with these caps but Allah it commits aha uh -huh. so it brings you something like this okay uh let me just uh control there oh what was that let's see aha uh -huh. control c so i want to delete this line before i go on i want to clear this all information one branch and then uh the commit has been done over here but i don't know why is it doing this let me see let's reduce the screen so that you can handle the error so this is maybe the cups that is bringing this on and let's look at it yeah Uh, please enter the commit message. So it's asking me to place the commit message so that it can work So let's just close this file close the terminal then let me use this one. Yeah uh, A new terminal. Let me create a new one. So we, we go back to that project that we were so we, we CD CD to desktop. Oh, this is the screen is small let me just go back to where we were before we continue so as i was telling you we had reached a point of git status so don't worry that will not happen to your machine <laughs> don't worry that is like something i have it has some like configuration of rules so after doing that let's cd to we did it was c e let's look at that yeah so let's go back to it we are doing git status so in git status the now you see the other time it was no commit yes uh changes to the commit so you see there is this change that has been made it is something different compared to the last time so when we go and do git commit 
dash. So you may prefer using AM. You can use git add before you go to that AM or something, but may prefer to use AM. But since I did git add the initial one, let me do M. And then like uh created readme, create readme. Read me dot md. There you go. And then git status again. There you go. You saw it shows you that there is a commit that has been done. So from here you have seen I've used this one git commit. So you can also use this and this way of git committing git commit dash a dash m. Most people do this dash m then space then you write your commit message like create uh readme readme create readme.md you can do that or you can also do git commit dash am then you write it create readme.md create readme.md something you can do that so it's your own you you can pick which one do you prefer more and we can use the other one that you start with git add then git dash am like we did this so that's all for this lesson i hope we meet the next class bye